right, what's going on everybody? Brian back with another live stream. How you everybody doing? We got my man Bell in the house. Bell, I am sorry, dude. Now, Bell's a uh, long, long, long time friend of the channel. Uh, we played some co-op Phasmophobia uh, a while back, and uh, we were in the house, and I got I got spooked, of course, and I fucking ran out the goddamn house. Literally, I was moving so quick, uh, but I was the one with the light, and I left Bell upstairs with the ghost coming after him in the pitch black. He couldn't see. It, it was bad. It was bad. But he knows oh, I'm sorry. He knows I'm sorry. But we are back with some more of the Heartland DLC for State of Decay. And, uh, yeah, we, we made some good progress. We made some good progress last episode. Get back in here. Let me get my bearings, and uh, we'll go from there. Doug, what's going on, brother? How you doing today? All right, let me see. Hey there, I've been listening to your chatter over the radio mm, and you're doing it all wrong. Lucky for you, I'm here and I'm willing to help you out. All right, you know what? We'll go, uh... What, what do you want? I'm the person who can solve all your problems. All you have to do is come over and chat. Awesome. Okay, so let me see. Junction, this is Dr. Yep, we got that about to be built. something important to show you. Meet me in Marshall. Mm. And be careful on your way here. Stay put. I'm heading your way. Good old Marshall. Alright, so we're going to upgrade our farm complex to level 3. Oh, we still need another person for that. I'm just trying to see all the upgrades I can get. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, we now have the utilities complex. And uh, that gives us free water and power throughout the whole entire base. That's all good. Grant random plague item. Hmm. Just messing around with really quick. Oh, Doug, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Hey man, well, I'm so I'm hoping you can find some comfort here, bro. That that's rough, man. That really is. Uh, okay, so I think we got a scent block from doing that random plague item. Uh, it's community infection therapy. That's super duper cheap, actually. Craft chemicals, um, and craft plagues consumables. Awesome. So we don't need to worry about any of that. So we got mission to go link up with Isby. Um, and Delta Squad's fate. I wonder what this mission is. Who is Delta Squad, though? Okay, so if you guys see down here, we have we actually have a um, an assaulting horde from an infestation. I don't know where it's going. Well, I mean, I, I could see where it's going, but. So it's going to go infest this house right near my uh, my outpost. So if we're going to go investigate, let's uh, let's go jump on Chavez. We'll send Chavez out. We haven't played with him yet. So we uh, as you guys see, we, we got quite the group here already. Captain Logan, we got Isaac, Chavez, Vic, Keisha, and Helena. Swap out this gun. Um, you know, we could actually probably keep this weapon. It's our sidearm. That's actually a really cool sidearm. 45 holds a decent amount of ammo. Does have different fire modes and has full auto and burst fire. Ooh. I might actually have to get one of those in my main game. It's a pretty nice sidearm. The RTX Piranha. Alright, so we'll keep that for now. Um, this backpack we have is only a 7 slot. And we'll grab some... Stamina items and meds. 
And what are we going to give him for a primary weapon? Yeah, we'll go with this. Throw a break on it. Hey, how you living? Hey, how you living? All right, let's do it. So that inventory will suffice. It is getting really, really dark out, as you guys can see. So we got to go see what happened to Delta Squad. I don't even remember what this is. Be honest with you guys. Okay, so I got no more fuel. So we will craft up some gas cans. But this is uh, Logan's, uh, one of the Army's teams. He wants me to go and... I don't know, see where the hell they ended up. And then... Um, we're looking at linking up with Isby, and then uh, Doc Hoffman wants us to go down to Marshall, and this is actually going to be our first time really going in Marshall since we started this playthrough. I've been avoiding it for obvious reasons. It's a death trap down there. Oh, shit. Okay. So as you guys can see, in the normal Trouble Valley map, you can go through this tunnel. Um, but it's it's all, like, broken down and decayed and stuff like that. Uh, this is what it looked like beforehand. Um, so, yeah. This is what the plague is doing to, uh, to this area. No way in, there's no way out. Yeah. Here's Delta Squad. Wow, nice. We get a freaking Echo S7 assault rifle. Note find, found blocked at, uh, at Block Tunnel. Uh, Timmons says we're going to fall back to the mill. If we can hold, or if we can't hold, God let us hold. Oh, so we were able to get another Echo gun and... Um, Looks like they didn't make it. Okay, Chavez isn't specialized in anything. He's a pretty nub red talon. I don't recall this mission either. I've never seen that before. Isby's right down here. Get the link up Chavez and Isby. You guys know that whole situation from uh, the new map. His backpack actually came out matching his gear freaking perfectly. You finally got here. Looks like you know how to follow directions. Exactly the skills that I'm looking for. Well, this is Isby's yeah, place. Okay. 
Now, let me explain what you're going to be doing. I just need you to drive to a couple of locations and read messages over the radio. You better not be lying here. Uh, no, seriously, that's basically it. But if you do it right, we're gonna be rich. All the supplies you ever wanted. So, what you think? You ready? <laughs> you are really precious. All right, let me know when you reach the first location. Word. I mean, this is to be set up. Running like, what, six towers over here? Got a laptop, a couple old monitors, fans, a bunch of batteries to run all their old equip or equipment. Vesna, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so we got to go to these locations. Uh, first location is up at the gas station. Now, we got to be careful because there was a feral over here. Two thermite grenades. Nice. I am so glad I heard your chatter on the radio. Most people in this valley don't have the vision to understand what I've accomplished. Uh-huh. Getting close to the first site. Roger that. What's the Zed situation? We got infected muertos here. That's the situation. You gotta clear them out. Too much plague in the air is bad for the signal. Bloater, 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 don't pop it, damn it. I forgot I dropped him right there. I wanted to farm him and then I fucked it up, but it's all good. <sighs> it's a waste of a freaking bloater gland. American family's doing good, man. Definitely doing good. See if we can get a bag, some bags of fuel from here. We're gonna need them later on, anyways. That's worth taking. Uh, there never was as um, what keeps this game fresh. Uh, the devs they do a pretty good job coming out with um updates to the game um you know they're pretty pretty frequent you know a couple times a year we'll get decent amount of updates to the game uh some of them smaller than others some are big features that overhaul you know the game systems completely and uh make it more interesting adds a lot more dimensions to the game some are small you know pretty much i guess you could say uh cosmetic changes but um yeah, it just all depends on uh, how, your play style. Uh, if you play the game all day, every day, you're, you're going to get burned out. I mean, it's I feel like that's with any game, really. That's not like a long-lasting MMO-style game that has, you know, non-stop comment coming, or content just being released for it. But uh, if you play it every now and again here and there, you know, this game can last a very, very long time, especially if you're, you know, working on different difficulties, like... You. This message? Are you serious? It's for science, babe. Just read it. <sighs> Hold the newsreader's nose squarely, waiter, or friendly milk will countermand my trousers. That's it. One down, one to go. Get out there, tiger. There it is. Um. So, excuse me, but striving for like higher difficulties. Now, never was. If you're already smashing the game on Lethal Zone. You know, and, it, and you've already beat it, and it's nothing to you. I mean, you're going to have a hard time finding more to do because, you know, obviously you've already beat the challenge. But, um, yeah, finding, you know. There's big stuff going on outside this little valley, you know. Things that most people have no clue about. Finding how to, you know, overcome the difficulties and stuff like that, it's, it's a lot of fun. All right, so we got that one done over to this water tower 
Uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, so today's itinerary for games. Um, I plan on playing this for a little bit. Then we're going to do Last of Us after this. And then uh, finish up the night with some Assassin's Creed. Yoda Zed. Have you ever had trouble speaking on camera? I wanted to start. Um, yeah, so second gear, uh, I mean, it just is what it is, man. You're going to, I mean, I still have problems speaking. I talk like an idiot 90% of the time. But um, you just got to understand it just comes with the territory, you know what I mean? Or, we're I'm not a pro I'm not a professional public speaker, you know what I mean? I didn't train for this, none of that, dude. You just, just be yourself, man. If you talk like an idiot, you talk like an idiot. It is what it is, you know. What, what does it care? You realize this shit makes no sense, right? Come on, don't work that on me now. Read it. What is this that roareth thus? Can it be the motor bus? <laughs> Terrible motorbike must translate. Continue call for clambake, and now we wait. Order derived. Kilo Angel 22 Mike. Holy crap, it worked. Go to the third site. Hurry. I never had any doubt that things would be going this well. Uh, no, I've never really played Gears of War like that, no. Barrel? Hold on. What's that weird voice I just heard? That was Cleo. Nobody's exactly sure what she is. I mean, nobody but me. And I started hearing her broadcast not long after the outbreak. It took me a while to get the right gear to pull off this trick. It actually worked. I just discovered the key to infinite supply. with the super chat brother thank you so much i was surprised that i would actually like the last of us thank you for playing by the way uh we love the way you are hey I, mean, I really do appreciate that but yeah man um it is what it is you know how, how you talk it, it th now there are people when you're making videos um you do have the chance to go and do you know double takes and you know if you mess something up you can start it over clip it out but when you're on a live stream you know it, it just it's just live man you know you're gonna say stupid things sometimes you're gonna say the wrong thing sometimes um you just kind of just gotta roll with it man you know uh but the good thing is that i don't strive for perfection that sh perfection is just not fun for me uh it's too stressful so I We go. Eisen says, what are you looking to hope, uh, hoping to see the most in SOD3? Um, some world building, you know what I mean? Um, hunting, things like that. More immersion activities. I would definitely like more immersive activities. Hmm. 
Red Eye, hey, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you for being here. Ooh, here we go. We got the uh, Clio uh, Intuition Processor. We got the Vector SMG. This isn't the um, the Spec Ops, but it's still pretty good. Trench Tool, one of my favorite uh, melee weapons. Some Willy Peak grenades, 45, and a bag of meds. That's a pretty good drop. Excuse me. Entiendo. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the thing about SOD, I think that the game would benefit a lot from, is other ways to acquire um. Welcome to the family, son. Resources. You know what I mean? Like right now, currently, um, you can get food by farming and uh. Throw this on there. By farming and um outposts and looting you know what i mean but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but I, i've said this before that you're able to go into like grocery stores a billion years later and be able to still find resources you know what i mean like in abundance like obviously you could still go and find some old canned food that somebody else maybe didn't already grab but um i just want to see more additional ways to gather resources pretty much um too much, man. i think that'd be really really interesting Unbearded veteran with the 13 months. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. I think both of these use 45, right? Yep, so I don't need 9 mil on me anymore. Carry that, and we should be good. And let's go drop this doggle off to Isby. Where the hell did I park? Oh, I always forget the green icon now. Uh, favor of all time video game that you wouldn't mind getting me remastered? Uh, well, I mean, I've said this before. The Last of Us is like one of my favorite games. And I don't even feel like it needs a remaster. If they were to just port it over to PC so I could play it with mouse and keyboard, I'd be super happy. <laughs> Uh, so the update that they just dropped, update 29.2, was just a, it was a small update that um, had some bug fixes in it, pretty much. Some voiceover bugs were being fixed, things like that. Samantha, how you doing? I am doing pretty good. I am definitely doing pretty good. That went just like I thought it would. Oh, older? Oof. Um, older game that I would love. You know what game I would love to see be remastered and built on? That I think would be really cool. Need for Speed Underground. Or like Midnight Club Dub Edition. Wow, this is nice. The DOD to deliver such pristine design. Wait, this was made by the government. What, you think those nerds at the network have the skills to build and operate an automated fleet of drones? Not likely. So, what you think? I've been looking for a team that could use my skill set. Let's bring her over. Great, I knew you'd agree. Okay, let's head on over to Jurassic Junction. Oh, don't look so surprised. Of course I know where you live. <sighs> what is a parasite Eve? So, if Leo is still up there,
they're delivering payloads, that has to mean the government is out there too. And if she's listening, then they gotta be listening too. Which fuck the fuck? God damn it. What the hell are they waiting for? Should have had a scope. Of course, this is all going according to their plan. Fuck, man. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I just blow your mind? Wake up, my friend. All right, so now we got Isby on the team. Uh, I don't know who else there. I think Reba might be the last survivor, right? For us to recruit. Comfy. This is your place now. Hey, this place looks nice. I'll let you know when I'm ready to call for our next Clio supply drop. Uplink facility is now unlocked. We're gonna need more materials in order to gather everything we want or to build everything we want to build, but let me see here. So she'd found dinosaur turned out to be a dead crow. Yuck. Go around and get some more materials. So we got an infestation over here. It's already a level three. Yeah, and we'll we'll come down here and grab some materials. We should be able to get quite a few bags um, out of these warehouses and sheds over here. Yeah, definitely be swimming. I should be able to fill up all eight slots on my car here with materials. And I think we'll talk to Dr. Hoffman while we're here. Yeah. What is that? Uh, it's a supply run. I can't keep this place running if we're out of materials. Well, I'm going to go get some right now. Fill her up with gas that way we can save the uh, space. What other games am I trying to play? Like, what do you mean? Like, in the future? On the channel or today? Well... Is there anything I don't like about State of K2? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, personally, I feel it overall was an upgrade from State of K1. Now, I mean, when it first came out, it was pretty lacking. But um, with all the updates and stuff they put into the game um, and the updates coming, I feel that the game has everything and more compared to SOD1. And, the, you know, I can't be mad about something the game doesn't have if you know the previous game didn't even have it. I mean, the first game barely had a story either, though. Um, no more than what we're doing here in Heartland. You know, like when I bought into State of Decay, the franchise, I didn't buy into it for the story. I bought in for it, into it for the survival simulation. Um, I never looked at State of Decay as a story game, not even the first one. Um, I never looked at it as... So when this, when the second one came out and it was lacking a story, I didn't care because I didn't wasn't playing State of Decay for story anyways. You know what I mean? I wanted that... I wanted that... Uh, I wanted that survival experience. You know, I wanted to build up my community and just survive. So the story... The, the fact the game didn't have a story didn't matter to me. You know what I mean? I didn't... I didn't play this game for that. You know, that's what games like The Last of Us and uh, there was other games to scratch that itch. But uh, ultimately, no, I can't say there was really anything in the game that I don't like. Um, a lot of the things that I didn't like, I just were features I wish were in the game. And uh, they've done a pretty good job adding those to the game over time. Slur with the re-up on the membership. Family, Thank you so much. Yeah. And welcome to the family. Hey there. 
Right, we'll hit this. I'm up here. On the roof of the fire station. Alright. Let's see what we got. Place got twelve containers. Doctor Hoffman. Time for you to see what we're up against. Get up on that survey platform and look for a plague wall in the direction of the courthouse. No problem. Right there. That plague wall. That's how you get in. Get in where? I heard Captain Logan call it the Gauntlet. So I suppose that name is as good as any. Gauntlet, guys. Now look again. Past those barricades in the middle of town. What am I looking at, Doc? Yes, it's super dark. Correct. It's ground zero for whatever has infected Marshall. I need you to get in there and figure out what's going on. You guys will get a good uh, picture at this uh, once the morning comes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before you can get through those walls, you'll need plague busters. A lot of them. I need to stay here to observe, so I can't be your supplier. Instead, I'm sending you to retrieve some equipment that will allow you to craft your own plague busters. Lady X, how you doing? All right, so we got some infestations spreading. Yep. Okay, so there's one over here, and as you can see, it's growing already. And uh, we got some up here, which are going to be a pain in my butt. But okay, let's go off, try to find this equipment. This will give us the ability to craft Plague Busters. And um, once we do that, you're technically in the end game for Heartland. But uh, you definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. Uh, because if not, oh gonna be rough so let's go ahead and uh, loot out this area down the road it's gonna be an infestation down here but should be all right and genius congrats and I'm glad I was able to uh, assist you with your 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 first lethal victory feels good I know it feels good when you finally pull it off man Legendary, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, that was a bloater. We need that. Legit, any chance we get, I gotta, I gotta get this. Uh, flag on play asses. Am I gonna use the gifted member option? Yeah, I mean, uh, whenever I get it, I don't. YouTube hasn't given it to me yet. I don't even know if it's out yet publicly. Uh, and if it is, it's probably for only for bigger content creators. Oh, fuck this up. Uh, cause I, I don't think I have it yet. You guys would probably see it before I do. Uh, the ability to gift membership to other uh, viewers. All I know is when it does come out, if you want, you have to actually like hit allow on uh, on the on the stream. In order to receive membership, or uh, it won't allow people to send it to you. Okay, let's get searching already. This location was to be my primary lab. Things didn't work out. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's going to be kind of like Twitch, where you can, like, gift sub subscription to people. Um, at least that's what under I'm under the impression of, from what I've seen. No eyes on a screamer. Chad, how you doing? We 
The station is cleared. I'm looking around now. Hmm. It's actually Understood. survivors here. I thought I'd be able to search. There we go. I was like, yo, can I search him? Note found on dead scientists. I'm so glad I've been keeping this journal. I can't wait to share it with the colonel when we get home so we can see how badly Hoffman has screwed up this mission. If she only listened to my suggestions uh, when we arrived into the valley... Uh, we'd have cleared out Marshall by now. It is so frustrating to be underappreciated. Damn, so he's blaming Dr. Hoffman. I gotta start upgrading uh, my command center too so we can get some more outposts. Uh, well, but today we're going to be playing, um, we'll be playing this, we'll be playing some more Last of Us, and then we'll be playing, um, later on tonight, some Assassin's Creed. That's the plan for today. Well, it's not Hoffman's fault that the plague walls are here. It's, I guess it's Hoffman's fault, according to that guy, that the plague walls are still a thing and not destroyed. Okay, so there's some good gear in here. Heavy duty ammo press. Nice. Got the Echo S3 shoddy. I'll bring that back to base. I'm going to get an outpost down here because there's a lot of military locations here that we got to hit. A lot of M4s. Holy crap, man. And I want to thank you guys. A hundred likes already on the stream. Seriously, that is awesome. Whatever. There it is. Yo, I found it. Excellent. You can install that device anywhere in your base to get it up and running. That will allow you to manufacture plague busters from the poison glands you harvest. You'll need a lot of them to punch your way through that gauntlet. If you need assistance locating plague bloaters, call me on your radio. I what are they? Oh, I didn't even know that was a feature where you can contact her and ask for uh, the location of plague. Yeah, look at that. There's a radio command to locate plague uh, bloaters. Yeah, there's no plague territory in uh, in Heartland. Okay, so we're going to drive back down to the fire station. I don't know if I can make it a... Let me see. Do I have an outpost? I got an outpost right here. And that one got triggered. Should be able to deposit it here. And now install it. And yeah, we'll install it in here. It's fine. All right. This is it. 
You have all the knowledge you need to take on the Grommel and Plague Wolf and Marshall. I recommend stocking up on Plague Busters and plenty of cure before you start your assault. There it is. You'll have time to rest and resupply between each assault. Good luck to you. All right, we're going to go up here and get our hands on a bunch of materials. Let me see. Can, uh, once this... Oh, I can actually craft them now. So let me see. How many bloater glands do we have currently? Five. I actually have a lot more than I, I thought I had. So we'll come here. You gotta keep those coming. So um, I, that's actually a lot of plague busters that we just crafted. Yeah, so I'm up to having 18 of them already. That's a that's a really, really good start. I could definitely hit the first wall for sure. Now, when you hit the gauntlet, guys, uh, you don't have to do it all at once. This is definitely something that you can you can do in in stages. Like hit hit a wall, take a break, hit a wall, take a break, like go do other things, go do other missions, things like that. You don't have to hit all this at once. It it, it can get really, really, really taxing if you try to do it all at once. Um so the the beta is. Hold on a sec. Uh, so the beta is on Steam. Uh, so all you got to do is have access to Steam. But this game mode is available in the live game. You don't have to have. Uh, you don't have to have Steam to do this. But hold on one sec, guys. I got to go help the wife really quick. Oh, try the zombie glitch on the on the plague walls. All right, so we're just coming up here to get our hands on um, some materials. Now, the only downside to um, Heartland, in my opinion, is they they really really built Jurassic Junction. They added all these custom um, like skills and facilities and things like that, but. I feel like for the average player, wow, it is so dark. I can barely see. Um, for the average player, you won't even need 90% of the stuff in the game mode because it's not like the difficulty is that high. Yo, it is super dark out, though. I'm actually going to bring my car over here and... Use the headlights. Gotta catch my breath. Um, now the gauntlet, when you're inside the gauntlet, that gets pretty difficult. But um, the actual overall game difficulty, though, really isn't that hard in Heartland. So you got all these awesome facilities and systems, and you don't even really need them. This headlight sist uh, feature they added is so dope, especially for when it's dark out. Nah, there's no news on SOD3. We won't hear anything on SOD3 for a while. And when there's legit news for State of K3, guys, it's not you're not even going to have to look for it. It's going to be everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Uh, 
let's go. And I, the thing is, um, I haven't even played the Gauntlet, Michael, since Lethal was a thing. What, baby? Uh-huh. Mommy went that way? Yeah, she's mowing the lawn. Yo, this damn sword's already breaking. Uh, my FOV, I think it's like 75. I, I, or se I, I don't think I've changed it. Um, I honestly, I, I, I'm so used to playing State of Decay with the field of view that I had that um, anything else just looks weird to me. So I've seen another rucksack. Wait for her to come around the back, okay? Okay, so we got two there. Hit the sheds over here. Um, so there isn't a way to force um, a specialization to come, Mr. Lotus, like a specific one. Like, say you want swordplay on somebody. There's no way to make it happen. They either have it or they don't. But um, there are skill books that you can buy from the Rare Skill Trader. And I believe you can also get them from the Mysterious Wandering Trader um, that you can use to change a survivor specialization. So say you had a survivor and they only got striking and close combat. And that was the only options they had. Um, just pick one. It is what it is. And then later on, once you get your hands on one of them skill books, you can go ahead, looks ready to pop. use it on that survivor, and then um, you can change it then to whatever skill you want. But initially, no, you have no control over what uh, what skills the survivors have. Um, you can't. You can't. Now there are certain traits. Like if you get someone who's like a, like a sword collector or something like that, like the sword collector trait, the, uh, those traits can make them have sword play. Uh, but you have to roll for those or specifically look for them. Okay, so we got three bags so far. I think we'll just go ahead and get at least three, four more. Should be able to get him no problem. Bueno, no muertos around. Whatever. Got both of that. And before we leave, I'll swing back by the uh, the fire station here, and I'll uh, I'll show you guys what the entrance of the gauntlet looks like.
Right, because of Quincy, everybody can crouch sprint. Beautiful, man. There we go. We're making out really, really good right now. Let me see. So we got this drone uplink built. Drone hacking. Now, um, before we go into the gauntlet, I am going to hit a couple of the military locations. Okay, this should be enough materials for right now. I got, what, six bags? Yeah, six bags of materials. That's pretty good. Um, I should I should be in a good spot resource-wise, but I need to get some more guns. Uh, I want to try to get my hands on, like, some 50 cals, high-caliber weapons, so we can help out with the juggernaut, so I don't have to waste as much ammo fighting jugs in the gauntlet. I forgot I can't turn this way. It's blocked off. So yeah, this is where the gauntlet takes place. Um, the first plague wall is on the other side. But yeah, the whole middle of the city is just encased in blood plague. But yeah, we're going to come back down here. We're going to loot out this area. I want to get my um, command center upgraded so I can get another outpost down here. I'm thinking about moving one of my outposts down here, and then we'll, we need to get another slot. So. so right now, I think I only can hold, have three outposts. hard to see okay so that so these don't stack you got to be careful with that what happened Hold on, hold on one sec, guys.
There we go. So the thing is, we don't really need to stock up. I'm not too worried about cure. Um, now the thing about Heartland compared to the uh, the rest of the game, if you, yeah, the wife just need to help with the lawnmower really quick. So I just had to go out there and help her. Um, but uh, she, uh, she, uh, the if you lose a survivor in Heartland, you can't get any more. It's not like the other game, the main game, where you can keep recruiting more people. Like there's a set amount of survivors in Heartland, and that's it. Um, if you get them killed, they're gone. Um, so you can full wipe on Heartland and there's no way to come back from it. All right. Let's get all these materials deposited. All right, so first things first, um, we're going to get rid of this outpost. I'm going to move that one down to Marshall. Food is good. So we're going to do an outpost. I, I like to do one right here outside the fortified in this place. So we'll probably put it right here. building something in the empty space we have all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and get this building and we'll get this upgrading that'll give us two more outposts And where is the... Right there. Okay, so we'll keep this inventory. We're going to head back down and uh, just loot up some... Try to find some rare guns. There's a bunch of military locations in Marshall. Obviously, that's where the army uh, tried to set up and failed epically. So, um... The the if you move it up and down too much, the belt keeps coming on on and off. Uh, I'll fix it here in a sec. All right, I gotta go. My lawnmower is wicked weird, guys. It was a, it was new, dude. You know we got it new, but the. I don't know if it's just the belt that's on there is like stretched out or something, but um, the because you have to uh, disengage and engage the the, uh, the actual mower blades on it, so it, it's like you can drive around on it and it's fine, it, you know, and it just moves. And then you actually have to turn the the mower blades on. And for some reason, um, if you sit there and you engage and disengage the mower blades too much, freaking the. Uh, the lawnmower just stops. It, it, it literally, the blade comes, or the the belt comes off the pulleys. It's super annoying. It's broken. I got to go fix it. But yeah, it, um... It just keeps popping off the pulleys. It's so annoying. I got to go out there and literally just put it back on every single time. So I think I might have to buy a new belt for it or something. Okay, so we're going to set up shop right over in the uh, fortified fire station. And the reason why I'm going to do it here is because uh, it's right outside of the gauntlet. Whoa there. Got a feral on me. Yeah. 
Okay, we just maxed out fighting. So we're going to make this into an outpost. In order to do that, though, there's a ton of rooms in here. Yeah, Corp, so I might have to mess around and check. Yeah, see if the pulleys maybe just need to be adjusted. That makes a lot of sense. Coast looks clear. Baby, did you just bring me a whole thing? Of bread? What do you want with this? Okay, go put it on the table. You brought me a whole loaf of bread. Alright, so now we should be able to outpost this place. Outpost secure, Perfect. So, uh, the reason, like I said, the reason why I like this spot is because you can come here, you can rearm, swap survivors, do whatever you need to do, and the gauntlet start is right here. Um, and you could you could just chip away at it. Uh, come back to your uh, your outpost. It, it's pretty good. Pedro, what's up, brother? I'm starting to fade. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go out looting. Uh, but before I do that, let me go fix this lawnmower. Give, sorry, guys. Give me a couple seconds. Real life. You know what I mean? Real life. Give me one sec. All right. So I don't think we can get any uh, guns or anything out of this location. 
Um, but we definitely can. We'll check this army roadblock right down the road. We could bring our... I think I have a grenade launcher, don't I? Pretty sure we found one in this playthrough. I actually might be able to utilize that, too. To uh, eliminate some juggernauts. It's a little tight around here. Alright, so we're just... 50 cal rounds, hell yes. Mm, take it. That was the last one. Nice. Echo S4. Uh, that's a really cool gun. And a bag of ammo and some parts. Too much, man. So we got another one of the Echo weapons. Won't really help when it comes to like plague assault or the plague wall assault, but it's better than nothing, I guess, right? Yo, you know I've never used the gas grenade launcher, bad judgment. I've only used the uh the the gas grenades themselves, the ones you hand throw, but I've never tried the actual launcher. Okay, so now we can get two more outposts because there's a bunch of locations over here. Um, so I think I might make one of these houses an outpost instead of having to travel all the way back and forth every single time. Probably make like the other, this one that turns into, uh, what's her face? Tressie's house. Yeah, the plague the plague busters are really good against the juggernauts. They're just to me, it's just so expensive. You know what I mean to use them on the jugs. Speak of, speak of the speak of the devil. It was very very expensive. Ooh, red talon vehicle. So we're gonna make an outpost right here. But I also have Sniper Tower being built, too, so I'll be able to use that on Juggernauts if need be. They'll help out. Uh, some Sniper Support. Nice to have a moment of fucking quiet. Okay, so this place legit is just another location to drop loot. Uh, so we don't have to travel so far. Let me see here. So I'm going to craft up. Those are crazy expensive. That's too much, man. A lot of fuel. A lot of ammo. That's good. Really, really hoping for a big gun. That would that would help out on. And as I showed you guys against that first plague wall, using uh the C4, it, it's it's super powerful. It's super super powerful. You, you can literally burn through the uh the walls, damn near instantly. But we need more scraps of circuitry for that. Oh, 
bring the party. Yeah, these frag grenades. Super clutch. Nothing. Oh, I think they're over here. Yep, one's back here. One's. I don't see where the other one is. Oh, I think it's that fuel container over there. Um, so bad judgment. The only reason why I don't really play co-op is um, I feel the balance in stated K is really, really bad when it comes to multiplayer. Like, um, I feel all it takes, it, like, if there's another person in my game, it, it just instantly makes the game too easy. Um, it's it, To me, it's that unbalanced. Like, even one single person in a multiplayer game, the, it just it makes the game too easy. Uh... To the point where I feel that literally two players can just kill an infinite amount of zombies, no problem. It's so that that's generally why I don't do a lot of multiplayer. Cause I'm here for the challenge, you know what I mean, most of the time, and um, there, there's no challenge whatsoever in in multiplayer. So we got a bloater down here. We're gonna we're gonna pop him. Dude, I'm talking even on lethal, man. I've played I've played modded state of decay harder than lethal in multiplayer, and it's it's a joke. Super easy. Like, you know what I mean? I can, if I can beat Lethal Zone by myself with no guns, melee only, you know what I mean? Which we've done here on the channel. Imagine me having a whole extra person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's very, very OP. I think multiplayer is the most OP thing you can do in this. Light bolts trash. Yo, look at the zombie. There's a new f flying zombies confirmed. Oh, I said something. These hand grenades are really going to help out. Okay, still no big gun, honestly, which is a little sad. Um, we could go check these two locations again. There was guns over there, a lot of M4s, 556, but nothing in the way of like a 50 cal. And that's kind of what I'm in the market for. Just want one 50 cal, man. Just one. Dude, why did you hit my goddamn car, bro?
Here it is. What do you call a nun that sleepwalks? I don't know. <laughs> Bad judgment. That's a hard thing to balance. Nine red talents? Man. And they're not giving you a hard time? Red talents are... They're, they're, they're picky survivors. Nice. I was gonna say, yeah, that that's hard to manage, man. That that morale. Oh man, they're always complaining about something. You know what? We could actually make another outpost over here. That way I can fully loot out this uh military compound here. I don't even know if I can make this into an outpost though. Yeah, you can't. Got a lot of five five six. That's gonna work out really, really nice. That's too much, man. And we're out. Got no room for that. It's a lot of five five six. Check this out. Yeah, we're getting a ton of these uh Heartland rifles, but no fifty cals. One more container. I think it's the fuel in the front. Yep. So that's no good. No bueno. Mm. Oh, wow. Note found at Marshall HQ. Jones saw us safely in a marshal from a perch in the farmlands. We're hoping to find shelter in an electrical shed Jenkins knows about in West Marshall. I wonder if these all lead you to the guns. Joe Swarner uh, built this system. It's pretty dope. Yeah, that is definitely one of the best guns in the game for sure. The only downside to it is uh, reload speed. Right, go ahead, drop the stuff off of here. We're, we're actually gonna drive back to base. Uh, I'm gonna rearm as Quincy, and we'll come back down here and we'll poke at the plague wall just to, just to see what it's all about. You said it has a very fast reload. I, mean, I recall it being like pretty, pretty average. I mean, I look at it as I don't look at it as like actual reload speed. Like the reload speed is is is, is probably fast for a revolver, but you got to remember it's only eight shots. So every eight shots I have to reload, compared to having a gun that holds, let's say, seventy rounds, eighty rounds, I only I don't have to reload as often. So for me, I'd I'd rather have a gun that holds more. You know what I mean? Because if 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 I if I shoot eight reload 16 reload you know what i mean it's it's going to be it's going to be a lot hey nebo what's going on how you doing jonathan i'm really glad my guides were able to help you out and I hope you're enjoying the game.
I wonder what the sound difference in decibels is between silence and unsilence. I bet. No, so actually, um, suppressed weapons in real life are really not that quiet. I mean, from a distance, they are. Like it, it well, and that's like kind of what we use them for. Um, because the thing is, is if you're in the valleys of Afghanistan and you shoot off even an M4, right? Um, and it's not suppressed. Though a single gunshot echoes, and you can hear it from forever away. You can, I, you can literally, you can, you can say, okay, yeah, it's coming from this over here. Like a single gunshot, you can literally pin it um, on an unsuppressed shot. Now, when you shoot a suppressed weapon, if you're in the same area, if you're standing around, you'll, you'll, you'll hear because the, the gun still manually cycles so it moves it, it still chambers unchambers you're going to hear that action of the gun and there's still blowback you're st the gas still has to go somewhere so you still hear the gas it's kind of like a like a snappy mechanical sound um but you can still hear it it just if, if somebody who doesn't know what gunshot sounds like heard a suppressed gunshot they wouldn't be like oh that was a gunshot they'd be like what was that noise um that that would be that's more how suppressed guns work, but you can still definitely hear them. Now, if you're you know seventy five meters away or so, you might not hear it, uh, or you won't be able to you won't be able to pin what the sound was at all. I'm not sure I've lived anywhere as big as this place. Well, I mean, if you're not shooting subsonic, you got a suppressor on. You're gonna blow out your, uh, you're gonna blow all the gas rivets on it. So you definitely want to make sure you're using subsonic, sub subsonic ammunition. You're just gonna trash your suppressors. All right, so we're gonna be using this gun. Um, it's one of my faves. It's got a ton of ammo in it. The, our sidearm is gonna just be. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll keep that for our sidearm for right now. I'm going to bring some good stam items. Good healing items. Like I said, we don't need to worry about too much because our outpost is right there. So if we get jacked up, we can easily just pull back. I do want to... You know what? Let's try out these Willy Peets. Try out the Willy Peets. I want to see how effective they are on the plague walls. Um, we'll bring... Those plague cures. We're going to bring a couple stacks of hand grenades to help us out with any jugs we might run into. Um, we'll throw down some landmines in the area. Now, the good thing is we can pre-prep all of these landmines and shit before we even start on the uh, on the plague yeah, wall. Yesterday was okay, but today is actually good. And we're going to go, oh, yeah, so one of our outposts is actually infested. Yep, right over here in town. Okay, so we got our sniper tower. Uh, let's see here. We got a ton of ammo, so we're going to spend some of it. I should have fueled up. We should. We'll be okay though. We should be able to make it down there. So this is a guy. If this is your first time seeing this, this is going to be uh, our first attempt at the gauntlet. Now, I don't know how important it is to, like, mine in the first wall. I don't even know if you get juggernauts on the first wall. One badass, what's going on? Thank you so much for the sub and bad wolf with the 17 month. 
You know, my driving's always on point. I gotta, I gotta stay on top of my game when I'm around you guys. I gotta stay on top of my game when I'm around you guys. Look at that. Uh, there it is. Want that bloater? Cardio maxed out. Powerhouse, baby. Nope. Um. Sorry, we'll go backpacking. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of backpacking. There it is. Welcome to the family, son. John Bond with the 13 months. Helped me so much with SOD2. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm glad I was able to be here for you, John Bond. I appreciate the support, brother. All right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take a whack at it, guys. Um I said if zombies are gonna come. I don't even know if I want to waste a uh mine right now i kind of just we're gonna just test this out we're gonna see how effective the willy p is so my goal here is we're on burst fire i'm gonna throw the plague buster weaken it throw a willy p let it do its thing and then i'm gonna lay a couple rounds into it uh, quite a bit of damage Yeah, so the Willy Pete seems like it does damage. It does quite a bit of damage. That, that would be my thing to you is make sure that you can get the whole thing killed in the one in the one uh because I think if you if you wait too long it will it will seal back up before you can take away the whole health bar but if you can do it each wall in three plague busters I think you'll be in a good spot time for another plague buster So that wall is down. That's good. But we still have a lot more work ahead of us. I recommend resupplying at your base. Ah! 
Good tackle, dude. Take it off first. All right, let's get this a uh, little bit of stuff off of us. Now, I think on this one, we could definitely go for having some more um, ammo on us for damn sure. And. Because I think, I'm pretty sure Juggernauts are going to show up on this one. I just want to see how far we can push before the game really starts pushing back. I, I remember these walls being pretty, pretty tough. Now, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll bring the grenade launcher. Uh, yeah, this one has 30 rounds. And being quiet in this I, doesn't really matter, so I don't think having suppressors or anything really really will do much. But I was thinking about bringing the grenade launcher instead of the regular grenades. Might be a little more effective against the juggernaut. Where the hell is the grenade launcher? Somebody still has it on them. Not her. I swear I had a grenade launcher. What the hell? Well, I thought I had a grenade launcher. I, I That's what I was thinking. I was, I was more than positive I had one. Let me go check the, the box again. Unless it's in the trunk of my car back at base. It's the only thing I could think. It's sitting in the trunk of that... Uh, of our muscle car. That's the only thing I can think. It is what it is. Now, I could scent block um, and make this even easier, but we're not going to do that right now. Smoke grenades are pretty useful, though. We could use those. Mm, actually, what the hell are we going to hurt the plague, heart, or the plague wall with? Go C4. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do these two batches of C4. Nah, yeah, Logan doesn't have it on him. I think it's um I definitely didn't scrap it. I I think it's in the trunk.
Yeah, we're definitely going to have some. So what we could do here, get our sniper support ready. Looks definitely. like a plague wall. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Crystal, thank you so much for the 11 months. YouTube uh, needs to stop messing with the algorithm. Didn't even get notified. Really. It's it's definitely like that sometimes, but I appreciate the 11 months. Thank you so much. Okay, so something weird happened there. It was like my, my C4 was behind the location of the play card. Oh, I got a little closer to that one. Boom! Kill myself with fragments. So the C4 isn't as strong as it was um, against the first plague wall. I was I was able to almost kill the first plague wall outright with just the C4. But I'm also not using the burst fire like I was. So it was probably the same. Time to catch my breath. But this is what I was saying, guys. You can stop at any point in the plague walls and, and just come back. Uh, so we're going to take a second here. We're going to just app off our health. Grab, rearm our grenades. Uh, grab some more ammo here. So we got, what, six grenades. Drop those. Use that. Grab another stack of grenades, and... I don't... I think all of those jugs were coming from the backside. So we're going to go lay some mines down there. Well, I should actually grab another Plague Buster just in case. Now, I know as you progress through these um, walls, they get harder and harder and harder every single every single time. So we're getting a Juggernaut every single wall right now. And that, that's pretty good. So it seems like the juggernauts are coming back from this way. So we'll go ahead. Low on these. Some mines here. And I'm out. Hopefully it doesn't get set off by simpleton zombies. So now we're just literally using Plague Buster plus gunfire. That, that's it. 5.56. Five, Two 
Did he not set off my mind? That's two walls down. I don't know how many are left. Okay, so we didn't have to use a crazy amount of ammo there. Not as much as I thought, but it was also only one phase. Got that. Um, let's see, five, five, six. Oh, yeah, we got tons of ammo. Tons and tons of ammo. Rearm those. Top off with that. You know what we should... Yeah, we're going to bring a little bit of uh, fire with us. Just to keep the zombies off our back. Now, this next one, I could see myself having to rearm again, like, midway for sure. And it's getting nice and dark in here. So, when you come to Marshall in the updated Trumbull Valley map, the one that takes place after Heartland, uh, you can navigate through here. This is how... The plague walls were destroyed. Um, so if you guys are sitting there wondering, because you can come in, I believe, here. In, um, but this is how, this is what the survivors did. This is how they got it all cleaned out. Um, and then the walls just start breaking down over time once they uh, killed everything. Yeah, so I think there's four walls all together because, yeah, we got this one here. And I think after this one is the final one. It's going to be rough. So pop that.
over the head. So my camus blurry? It looks good on my end. I didn't reload. God damn it. Damn it. Sad. I missed my chance. Gotta work faster next time. Yeah, we do. So what we're gonna do here. Plague Buster these fools. Oh, the feral survived. What, you forgot to take the meat out? What meat? Do we got chicken? That bag? Can't do it, order. We gonna need it. Okay, so, just like, and th this is what I was telling you guys about. Oh, where's this one going? Baby Blue House. No, um, that. The Heartland game mode isn't that difficult, and even the Gauntlet's not as hard as I remembered it being. Like I said, it, I also played it like way back in the day before Lethal Zone was even a thing. You know, that was back during the old Brian videos um, that we were reviewing recently. So uh, I remember this game mode being like wicked hard for some reason. The uh, the Gauntlet. Go ahead and craft up. Maybe it's this last wall I was thinking of. That's just going to be crazy, crazy hard. Okay, so we got more plague busters. Now the the thing is, let's see five, five, six. Grab double that. The thing here is, um, I, I, I don't know. It is, it is what it is. Once we start the round, we'll come back in, or we'll come back and see. I, I want to do a lot of damage to. I felt like the bullets alone, they were all right, but it wasn't enough damage. I want to like zerg down the plague wall a little harder than we were. So I think we'll go ahead and bring these thermite grenades. Yeah.
Even the last one is easier than... See, I don't know. I was, like, really holding out on the last one. I'm like, yo, this is going to be tough. Watch. But just to cover all our bases, we got our sniper support. Well, the first wall, we got zombies. The second wall, we got juggernauts and zombies. Third wall, we got ferals and zombies. So... Last wall, I'm pretty sure will be some kind of combination of juggernauts, ferals, and zombies. And the U.S. Uh, so Neo exists. AR. So, uh, yeah, so we have an AR. John, we have an AR style um, rifle. It's an M110. It's a 7.62 chambered five, five, like uh, AR platform rifle. It's a sniper rifle. Um, it has a built-in suppressor and all that. It's a really, really nice weapon. But that's the only uh, AR style weapon that I know that shoots 7.6. Seven, doesn't shoot 5.56. Five, five, shoots 7.62. Um. Now, I know there's a bunch of civilian-style ARs that shoot all types of calibers. Um, I think you can even give them a shoot 22. Uh, but yeah, the, the M110 is a it's a DM it's a DM rifle. Hey Doc, what's behind this last wall? I'm not sure, but I haven't detected any movement back there. Don't hold anything back. Take this last wall down, and your work is done. Fire in the hole! God damn it, a juggernaut! That's not a good place to go. Side of ammo. Okay, so we can finish off this uh, little bit of wall, and then I gotta go rearm for the last last little hurrah. I got a red. 
rest for a second. So turned around in here. I don't even. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going. We're good. Uh, what do I think about the AK? The AK 47s are great weapons. Any AK platform weapons, I think they're amazing. Very, very durable weapons. Um, you know, coming from uh, I was deployed three times, and I've had plenty of weapon malfunctions in the middle of firefights, <laughs> uh, especially with the M4. And that that's the thing about that rifle is, uh, and the M16 M4s are great, great weapon systems, but they are uh, they are prone to malfunctions, especially in the sand and things like that. So. Uh, especially if you get carbon buildup around your bolt and around the chamber and stuff like that, you get a lot of malfunctions. And the cool thing about uh, the cool thing about AK platforms is there not a lot of malfunctions. I mean, you can literally bury those things in the ground, digging them up six months later, and literally shoot it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab those. So we burnt through a ton of ammo right there. But because we didn't have a suppressor or anything, the weapon actually lasted the whole fight, which was awesome. Now we are a little low on 5.56. Five, I wouldn't even say that it's any harder than it used to be. It's honestly a little easier than I remember. For some reason, I felt like there was like multiple juggernauts and multiple ferals, but. So we got two mags of ammo. Uh, I got plenty of plague busters. I actually might just bring the rest of them. Uh, I don't think I have enough. Uh. Here. Yeah, I don't even have enough glands. Um, bring that and Can I craft grenades, actually? Yeah, we can. Craft frag grenades. That's pretty OP. Oh, when you got it... Did we... <laughs> oh, man, we don't... That's that's super illegal, brother. No, we don't we don't loot any any bodies. Um, we don't use any uh, foreign enemy weapons or anything like that. Um, if enemy combatants are killed in a firefight, um, uh, depends on where we are. But uh, we contact the elders of the village or whatever to try to come and. Uh, to police up the bodies and try to get them to loved ones and stuff like that. But no, we don't, um, we don't loot the bodies. Sometimes we'll, uh, if we're on like a high value target mission or something, like sometimes we'll come, we'll, uh, they have people there with a system. It's called the bat system. I, I don't even know if they use it anymore. Uh, sometimes they would cross reference, um, some of our targets to ID them to see if they were somebody that we were, we've been looking for for a really long time or something like that. Head. 
No, we don't. I mean, we'll confiscate weapons. Um, yeah, I mean, we confiscate weapons, but that yeah, it's not like we don't we don't loot them. You know what I mean? We don't, it's not like we take them and use them or anything like that. We just take them to make sure they can't be used again. Like, like say we go and we raid a city or whatever, and there's RPGs and rockets and weapon caches and ammo, uh, you know, supplies, things like that. If they are laying around, we, we just confiscate them. And generally, uh, we package them all up and they bring them out to the middle of the desert and blow everything up. Uh or if it's requisitioned, we'll turn it over because you, you got to remember when we, when uh, us as Americans, when we're when we're in Afghanistan, we're we we're there with the Afghan National Army, so we're there to support the ANA. Like anytime I I was out on patrol, we had ANA there, so pretty much they are in charge of everything. The Afghan military is in charge of the operations. We're just kind of there to hold their hands and teach them what to do um, and the right way to do things. And so a lot of the times, if we ran into things like that, we would turn it over to them and we'd say, hey, you know, okay, we this, this is done. Now this is what you do. And they would take the, the sometimes they would requisition the, the guns, the ammo. They would do their inventories or whatever. And sometimes they would probably reuse it, but... um. A lot of the times, if we take it, we we destroy it. Yeah, and any anything that the American military uh, ac acquires from the enemy, we we generally uh, destroy it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pop a uh, smoke grenade when shit gets real. We wait one minute. We will have sniper support for this last phase. But, the, yeah, the reason why we don't leave guns and stuff like that there is because we don't want somebody to come and grab it and use it against us again. Or, you know, say kids move back into the cities or whatever after we're done. And, you know, the last thing we want is some little kid running up and grabbing an RPG and whipping a rocket into, like, a building or something. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we try to we try to clean it up if we find that type of stuff. And, th hey, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. So we're going to wait 35 more seconds just so we have sniper support for this. Not that I'm going to need it. I mean, I could probably burn through this phase super quick. Now, there's a cool little bit of story after, um, after you destroy this wall. It's not very long. It's not super in-depth, but it's, it's a nice little uh, head scratcher. Now, back in the day, um, I had guys that deployed, like, way back in the early 2000s and stuff like that. And um, they were able to take home war trophies. War trophies. So guys were guys were getting their hands on, like, AKs and RPGs and stuff like that. And um, you were able to go through a process to get the barrels sealed and all this stuff. And you were able to take home war trophies. It, it got way harder as, um, you know, the war progressed. I, like, when I was deployed in 2008, 2009, we couldn't take shit home. Oh, God. Could not take anything home. It was it was crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and sniper sport. Activate that. So I popped the smoke, hoping I could stand in it. You guys see that? We won. We saved Trumbull. We found ways to turn the tide in our war against the Blood Plague. But in that moment of triumph, we had no idea how the box we opened that day would change our world forever. Update 
And th and that that's how it left off. Yeah, airborne. So yeah, man, you don't get you don't get away with that shit nowadays. But that that's Heartland, guys. Very straightforward game mode. Um, not that hard. Uh, a lot easier than I remember. Now that end part, like I said, if if you're not super comfortable around a lot of zombies. I could see that being a little bit of pressure on a, a lot of players, but it really wasn't that bad. You know, I put, you guys seen there, I, in this game mode, you can you can craft scent block, any of that. You craft a scent block, you're invisible. You can literally run around and kill those plague walls like nothing. Um, right there at the end, I stood in a smoke grenade and I was able to just kind of just hammer on the that last phase. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy, it was good, it was good. But congratulations, future generations will remember this day as a turning point in the battle to reclaim the world of, from the zombies. So going forward, the the actions made in Trumbull Valley obviously will will go forward. Now Haven, um, we if, as you guys know, we unlocked the Haven device in the the um, second portion of Heartland. I guess you could say in the new Trumbull Valley map that you play in campaign. Um, that the developers are making that seem like that Haven device is going to travel forward with the game. So you're probably going to see a safe zone like a like a that's going to be like the I don't know. I, I have a feeling that the like our community that gets the Haven device is going to be like the center point of civilization later on uh, in, in, in the State of Decay franchise. You know, maybe uh, they're going to go ahead and find a way to amplify it even more make like a whole big city a safe zone and then there's going to be like people are going to live in that safe zone you know what i mean it, it, i don't know it's going to be interesting to see what they do it i know they have ideas uh for haven going forward and stuff like that uh jeffrey card kind of gave like that same thing you know about civilization and uh you know going forward with the haven device and how that's going to affect the world are they going to make more than one haven device uh because right now cleo can only operate in that one which is which is pretty interesting but uh it, it's gonna stay the case thank you so much for the five i really appreciate the super chat <laughs> um but yeah it is gonna be super interesting to see how they how they build on that heartland uh or the haven device any any of it, it, it it's it's always super interesting but yeah we beat heartland guys but yeah, adding difficulty to Heartland would have been pretty dope. But realistically, it's it it, 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 gets, it it serves its purpose. It definitely serves its purpose. But I really do appreciate the super. Thank you so much. Uh, so I'm playing on the beta branch right now because uh, the new infestation system bleeds over into Heartland. So if you go and you play a Heartland map, I didn't focus on it too much because I didn't have to. But yeah, if you if you check your Heartland maps, uh, I can't do it now. Uh, what, what happens if you continue? Can you continue playing on a Heartland map after you beat the... I think you can. Let me see. Ted, what's up, brother? How you been? Uh, Can you keep playing after Heartland? I, for some reason, I feel like you can. No, okay, yeah, so it just resets the fourth wall. Yep. Uh, so you can, after you beat Heartland, keep pl playing. It just resets the last wall. And um, you can continue surviving. But as you guys can see here, the new infestation system <laughs> is running rampant in Trumbull Valley right now. But yes, it, it, it is in the beta, and I, had, I just wanted to check it out. We lost an outpost over here due to infestations. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was just interesting to see. It was just interesting to see, but yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with that in the main game. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, but I'm waiting for the new update to drop. Uh, once that new update goes live, we're gonna be playing uh, my the forever game that we were talking about. I showed you guys I was able to move my forever community over to the beta, so now I have all of my my stuff, all of my guns, all of my survivors, everything like that. It's prepped up and ready to go. Super excited about that.
But yeah, so I got my, as you guys can see, my forever community. Um, and everything was able to transfer over. The, uh, on my second channel, at the other day, we actually went around and cleared out a bunch of stations. I had like 12 infestations. It was pretty crazy. On my main community here, uh, we did that. If you guys want to check that out, that's on my second channel. Um, but yeah, this is my... This is my forever community. This is the setup I have currently at the farm. I got the sniper tower, uh, trade depot, haven device. The reason why I have sniper tower, because you guys are probably like, why do you have haven and sniper tower? It's super weird combination. I have it because um, haven device is nice for my base, but uh, haven device doesn't do anything for me when I'm out in the field. So when I'm out in the field, I like to have sniper support just in case I get jumped by like a triple flare or something like that. Sniper support is super, super clutch um, in those cases. But yeah, this is all my my guns and weapons and stuff that I have in my forever community. I generally only like to keep like one of every gun. Um, I don't. I'm not like a super collector or a hoarder. Uh, so I keep like one of everything, and that's about it. But there is a lot of guns in here that I... Uh, there is a lot of guns in the game that I still do not have. Roaches, coaches, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Sabrina, thank you for hanging out. We got B. David in the house. How you doing, brother? Uh, no, yeah, Mill, they they're, they're, they patched that. Yeah, they I think they patched that in uh, this last update. They Yeah, they patched it. So, yep. They um, and now this group is not the group I'm going to be playing with in the Forever Community update. I'm going to be using this community. Other uh, like for instance, so I, I, the Nia, I'm sending her into my uh no one has any my legacy pool. Uh, she's a great survivor. I just don't need her. Back before the outbreak, okay. When people still did things like that. One time, he bought me this big mace. He called it badass. It was his last gift to me, but I lost it. Huh. Um, so yeah, we got, uh, I got Nia here. She's a great survivor, great skills. Um, she has a really, really good, um, hero bonus, but I already have my red tail in here who also has the same hero bonus, just better because hers is plus 100. Hers is plus 150. Um, so they're and they're both giving me the same thing. She's giving me cooking and nutrition plus minus thirty percent food consumed overall. She's giving me you know plague resistance, uh, cooking, nutrition, um, and a little bit of health and stamina to my my group. But at the same time, like they're both doing the same job. My red talent is just doing it better. So, but I don't want to get rid of her. She's a great survivor. She has no negative traits other than she has minus ten health, which is irrelevant. Um, but I, if, if I was playing this community and I wanted to bring more people on, I would have to get rid of somebody uh, or beat the game. And I don't want to do either of that because I want this to be my forever community. So with the new system, I'm going to be able to send her into the legacy pool and I won't have to worry about it. And also Alexandra here, she served a purpose in the community back in the day. She, she also has... Uh, a good hero bonus. I get plus. Uh, I get food from her there and food from her here though. So she's giving me plus two food a day. Plus she has you know good skills, no negative traits, anything like that. And um, she's a great survivor. I, there's no. I just don't need agriculture. I don't. I don't. I don't build. Ever since the new outpost update, I don't really build farms and shit in my base. I kind of just live off of food outposts. So for me, um, having somebody with agriculture in this specific community, it just does. I don't need it. Um, so I'm also going to be sending her into my legacy pool and, uh, yeah, so that, that's my plan so far. I'm going to be whittling down this community a little bit, sending the people I don't need into the legacy pool. And then my community that I'm going to start up, cause I'm going to start a brand new community for the new update. That community, like for instance, say I need a mechanic, um, in that community, I could come take Lily from this community. You know what I mean? Because she's already a really, really good survivor. I I don't necessarily need her here right now. I could take Lily, uh, switch over to her, and then send her over to that community. I can literally take her out of this one, put her in a legacy pool, log into my other community, and pull her in. And now I have a great auto mechanic from this community that went over to her. And I could send her over there with 
um, you know, say they needed some repair kits, say they needed, you know, some skill books or some resources. I could grab the stuff, put it on her, send her over there with it. And uh, it, it's, it's going to be cool, though. I'm looking forward to this update. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But, um, but yeah, so that is that, guys. Uh, we're going to end this stream here. We're going to be playing some Last of Us here in a little bit. Uh, so if you guys want to come and watch some uh, me struggle on a controller playing some more of the last of us i do appreciate well over 600 likes on that stream guys that was insane um so we're definitely gonna get another game playthrough for you guys and uh i hope you guys are enjoying this i do appreciate you guys coming and chilling and watching some heartland i wanted to get a full series uh of me actually fully beating it on the channel by myself and uh there it is so if you guys haven't on your way out smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the co the content roaches i appreciate you for popping in brother hope i'll see you over at the other stream if you got some time b david it was really nice to see you too man but yes uh like i said if you haven't guys smash that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one peace